chart has been developed by the Clinical Guidance Subgroup of the Digital First Best Pathway Workstream. It is to help you as a clinician decide if, if your consultation with a client or patient would be better as a remote appointment, this includes video or telephone, or if the appointment should be face-to-face. -face. This chart can be found on the IT Agile working page of the intranet. Before booking an appointment, ensure all risk assessments are reviewed. This includes safeguarding, physical and mental health risks, and loan working. If there are any records of any known risks, then initially speak to a multidisciplinary team member who will know the client and patient to ascertain the current situation. If following in this discussion with the other professional, it is decided that remote consultation is not appropriate and offer a face-to-face -face appointment as your initial appointment. You can discuss future possibilities of remote appointments with the client or patient and if needed, required, and if needed agree a safe word with the patient if appropriate. If there are no records or concerns, then follow the remote consultation guidelines. For all patients and clients, if, if during a remote consultation you have concerns about any risk, then please make a follow-up face-to-face -face appointment. Remote consultation may be appropriate if it is the patient's preference for remote consultation, the patient has capacity to decide about treatment or is being treated in the best interest, if the patient is displaying COVID-19 symptoms or has had a COVID positive test result, and if a patient can sense they have a private, safe and space to speak. A face-to-face -face consultation may be preferable, however, if the patient prefers face-to-face, you are unsure of the patient's capacity to decide about a treatment and the patient does not have a private and safe space to speak. Clinical considerations for when to use a remote consultation include that you don't need to examine the patient, that the patient's clinical need or treatment is straightforward, you have access to the patient's records, and you can give patients all the information they want to need about a treatment by phone or video link. However, consider a face-to-face -face consultation if you do not have access to the patient's medical records, the patient has complex clinical needs or requires specific investigations or is requesting higher risk treatments. You are not the patient's usual clinician and they have not given you consent to share their information, particularly if the treatment needs following up or monitoring. You need to examine or observe the patient face-to-face, -face, or it is hard for you to ensure by remote means that the patient has all the information they want and need about a treatment option. Finally, you need to consider technology considerations. Does the patient have access to a device and data? Is the patient able to set up a virtual call? If not, face-to-face -face consultation may be preferable. So if the patient is unable to set up a remote call and does not have a support person to assist with the video consultation, the patient does not have access to device and or data, and if the video consultation previously has been unsuccessful, either because of clinical or technical reasons, then you may need to consider a face-to-face. -face.